What's up guys, it's Camo here and welcome Jeez. And welcome to race thirteen in the Dollar General Cup series. We are at Charlotte for forty laps of actions. Paul Minnick, Harry Lover, and Alonzo start on the pole for this one. Hope this goes well. So yes, again, shorter race, same as the old Timer Cup series. Don't forget, check out Shameless Promotion. Check out Gamers Out uh, Outlet. I might call it Gamers Outcast. It's not the channel name. I could put Outcast Gamer. I don't know. Um, go check out Gamers Outlet. Game movies, lots of fun. Okay, awesome. Well, with that shameless promotion, let's get to the race. Oh, I'm gonna slightly edge out over her girl. Doing interesting. What is this? We're actually coming down just a few, few races left in this one. You know, Eli Bright making a move for the lead. I like the camera angles on this track. Definitely do. Very interesting. But yes, yes. Everything is in motion. I'm actually glad I created these videos. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna have to create a new thumbnail for the it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, well Caleb Campbell making a move for the lead. Oops. Abe Troxel in the picture as well. Oh, this is gonna be a little nice. If you if there's no cautions, it's gonna be a long one. Well, doesn't matter. We have Emily Anderson. Here's a lot of Alonzo, looks like he. Oh, who are you? Oh, Watson in the background. I believe he was in the chase. Or is, I can't remember. But definitely hasn't had too much luck lately. We have Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Well, definitely a driver to look out for. And Emily Anderson is kind of pulling away. Good job. Alonzo, however, coming up fast. Oh boy. And there they go in the back. Don't come up the track, Eli Bright. Uh-oh. Who else was involved? Only these three drivers. Great job. Eli Bright involved. Jay Jefferson. I mean, not good for them. A Troxel. Not good, but it was good. Though this might screw up something. Especially up front. I can tell you these guys like to make moves and it's not gonna be good definitely the longer that we race the better for these guys yeah, should we go we should be coming around the final turn so it looks like Troxel and Bright weird sorry <laughs> oh man shameless promotion 2.0 no I'm just kidding I won't. I won't make you check it out I'm just suggesting because I will be spending a lot of time over there I just think that maybe you'd like it now not everything is going to be in your forte but I mean, you can always give it a shot you never know Never do know. Ow! Why am I getting that? Ugh. Oh, that was nope. Here's Lover and Alonzo taking the lead. Here comes Zachary Fitzwater Sr. Looks like. Yep, there we go. That's, that's one of the victims. Philip Watson. 
on that boost. Oh, then only Anderson. Anderson was on top of the world for a little bit. Until that caution. Very, very unfortunate caution. And it looks like Senior might be making a move for the lead. Here we go. Oh boy. Becker Fitzwater Senior is yeah, has he cleared Alonzo? Yes, he has. And Becker Fitzwater Senior is our new leader. Oh man, Isaac Nichols was an amazing run. Viv and a Watson and Campbell back here. Watson might be able to keep that spot. We'll see. Top 10. And it looks like he will. Good job to Watson there. Get back up front. You now John Gilbert trying to get around the 48 of Nichols. Wow, these guys are doing really good runs. And it's kind of... Surprising, to say the least. I think this is one of the more interesting tracks that we have. Like, a driver pulls away and then drilled back in really quickly, gets past easily, and it, it's not like Daytona where it's like, oh, you can almost predict, oh, uh, like, talking about what happened here. Like, no idea that they were going to do that. They were going three wide in a few places. So. Yeah. Looks like Watson making his way back up the field. Same with Campbell. John Art looking to make it into the chase in this series. Yeah, okay, that is John Hart. Just making sure John Hart trying to make it into the chase for this series. See how that goes. It looks like John Gilbert. Oh, Emily Anderson did. We have uh, Ethan Stapleton coming up in the 17. It's kind of confusing when you have two cup. So look at that. I thought Gilbert was pulling away. But no. And then we have Ethan Harrison. That's the first time I've said his name in this race. I'm telling you, like. Yeah, no, Chris Dayot is in the 11. Oh, and Caution is out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not gonna review it sadly. I'm sorry guys. Wow, that's quite a bit of cars. Emily Anderson. Uh, Richard Kinghart. Man, it's really tough. It's really, really tough. Yeesh. Nathan Stapleton, our leader. Take me to your leader. Well. Here we go. Oh yeah, I also almost, almost forgot to mention uh, the Gamers Outlet Twitter page. Oh, I'm ridiculous. No, but seriously, you should you should trust me. Just trust me. Have they ever let you down? Multiple times. Yes, actually. Um, forget about those times and trust me with this one. I think it'll be good. Starting off kind of strong. Okay. Well. Here we go, Ethan Harrison making a move for the lead and lots 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 of lead changes here today. Here's Tejada. Moving up in the world. Uh-oh, Caleb Campbell. Looks like we got around Watson. Watson not doing too well on restart. Definitely better in the long run. Kind of reminds me of Jeff Gordon. No, I'm not comparing him to Jeff Gordon. Actually, for this I am, but, yeah, um, 
because Gordon wasn't really the best on the restarts, yet when it came to the long game, he was good. So, here we go. Gilbert up front. And still trying. Caleb Campbell. Watson moving into six. And now fifth, maybe. Full head of steam coming into this race. Don't even know where he started. It's kind of my bad, but still. <laughs> I believe I, s I still have to save it, so I'm just going to save it. I'm going to save it just in case. Okay, awesome. Well. You will see the points at the beginning of next race, same with the Old Timer Cup Series, you will see the points at the beginning of the next race. Again, just how I'm going to do it. Bear with me, guys. Oh man, I have to... Watson moving into fourth, could be third here. And there he goes, he's gonna make a move for third. John Gilbert though, dominant, dominant car here today. Chris Tejada, always a dominant force as well. And Philip Watson, I would say quite dominant, has many, many wins, actually second on the wins list, but uh, as of late, not too windy. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, hasn't, uh, hasn't been doing too well. So let's see if he can uh, change that. Here's Charlotte. Now, did kind of slow down there. Or Tejada really caught... Or, uh, sorry, Stapleton. Sorry, Old Timer Cup Series used to Tejada being in the 17. That's my bad. And Watson's going to lose third. Let's see if he can... And Beasley. Sorry, Eric Hyden. Yeah, see, I, I'm sorry. What happens? Let's see if Watson's... Yeah, definitely quite fast. Actually, really fast. And it looks like Tejada has taken the lead here. We'll just have to see how this one ends out. We have five cars battling hard for the lead here. We do have kind of a second pack, which... Not too... Yeah, but really just kind of kind of works. Kind of strung out. A couple packs here. We've broken up packs. How about that? Uh -oh. Watson trying to move into fourth. Getting help here from John Art looking for a win. Definitely one of the no longer participating drivers time wise uh, not very uh, doesn't have too many wins and he, he would like one here we go Caleb Campbell now back behind Watson these two drivers have been quite close and now we're going to come up on some lap traffic of Thomas Troxel one Thomas or one Troxels in one place. And here we go. Looks like most of these guys are gonna get around him and that lap traffic. Eric Hyden's gonna take the lead. Now it may have been too early, but with what I've been seeing, take the lead. Boasters well for how are you use that? I don't know, I'm sorry. It's summer, I shut off sometimes, okay? Well, I think with that passing behind him, Philip Watson's going to get a great run. One of the fast, if not the fastest car on the track. Oh. Actually, he's 19. Well, still really fast. He up front. Yeah, some of these guys are up front. Yeah. Wow, and actually, <laughs> Watson may have come up the track a little bit. Now, that's kind of discouraging for Watson. Even though he did take the lead, he's going to have to hold off Hayden. 
which is going to be really difficult to do. With that pack closing up behind him, you get past, you're probably going to fall way back. Now Watson down the back, the back stretch is going to be the hardest place to not get past. And there we go, Watson and Hyden touching. Oh goodness, that was dangerously close. Oh. If Stapleton can make this pass, Watson might be good for a little bit. Yeah. And Philip Watson may have just gotten the break he needed. Yeah, look at that. Eric Hyden has lost a ton of momentum. I'm going to go three wide. That's going to... Oh, that's going to do wonders for Watson. If he can pull away just enough. Oh, goodness. If there's a caution, the Watson's going to... Even love, love that even more. He wins. He's in the chase. Now, four laps to go. Don't know what's going to happen. No, Eric hiding in the wall. I thought they were going to wreck. It's really close. Now, Chris Tejada, huge threat to Watson. If Trinity Anderson can make a move on Tejada. He might win this thing, though. Nathan Stapleton still battling it out for him for that spot. Tejada coming up quickly. Full head of steam here. Anderson. Stapleton still battling it out. Yeah, this is going to be a two-way battle. Two laps to go this time by Chris Tejada. Let's see if he can get another one, or will it be Philip Watson, two of the greatest drivers on the channel. Tejada is still kind of far behind, but it's all going to depend on this next lap. Still about a car length and a half away. Or no, about a car length now. Really closed in on that turn. All over Watson's bumper. And Watson's going to give it to him. One lap to go here at Charlotte. Will Philip Watson be able to pull it out? It has happened before, but it looks like Tejada is going to get too good of a run. And Chris Tejada is going to drive away with this one. Amazing job there by Chris Tejada, making a second to last lap pass. At the line, and Chris Tejada will win it. At Charlotte. Philip Watson's going to end up finishing third. That is going to help him in points, but a win would have locked him in, and Chris Tejada will get that chance. Man. What an ending. Congratulations to Chris Tejada. Nathan Stapleton, Philip Watson, Alexander Russell, Audrey Manauskas, Walker Bobby, Herjan Lamar, Alonzo, John Arndt, Grayson Acevedo, and Philip Goldberg, your top ten. Oh, man. Thank you, guys so very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Great race.